like there's women that do not want diamonds that were made in a lab. Sure. Which is crazy because it's the just a diamond. Like they have an ability now to man make diamonds. Sure. They have some crazy machine and they compress carbon and they can make diamonds. But women only like them if they're coming out of the ground. Well, so. I know how to make gold. Um, really? Yeah. I, I can turn anything into gold. I watched a video on it. <laughs> you watch YouTube? Yeah. It's, yeah. Alchemy? <laughs> yeah. I was watching uh, a little alchemy video. And uh, so all you need to do is ferment your piss for like like a year or so and then you're good oh, and then eat it oh, then eat it by the <laughs> you way you gotta eat your piss yeah, yeah yeah that's how you make gold yeah i think so i think <laughs> that's what they were trap. saying <laughs> <laughs> people used to try to make gold they used to try to yeah, figure out man. a way to make gold isaac newton did he really yeah he was super into alchemy like one of the like smartest dudes ever. Oh, if you could figure out i mean i guess back then they probably thought i wonder if you can i wonder if there is some way to do it with a certain amount of energy that we don't currently possess where you can take other metals and turn them into different metals uh, i mean diamonds i mean yeah some, but that, I don't that's know. a pressure thing spray paint yeah the... <laughs> you make anything gold really i love gold <laughs> fool's gold <laughs> yeah um i have a friend who lives up in alaska and he owns a gold mine have you ever seen the the bone yard um uh instagram page no sir it's insane he's got this area in alaska that apparently there was a mass die off there that probably had something to do with a comet impact somewhere around the younger driest mm -hmm. period and there's tons of woolly mammoth bones there he That's has cool. warehouses filled That's with cool. them <laughs> and it's all his land and he's a gold miner so it's like and he's wealthy he doesn't and he doesn't give a fuck right like, this guy johnny comes on here smoking cigarettes telling the story of his life and he's got warehouses full of priceless stone uh, you know bones yeah. these fucking ancient like uh cave bear heads and step bisons oh, he's that's got just, just a, that's a junk drawer so this is not, not like the most valuable shit that's in the world crazy. and he's got warehouses filled with it what is it was that an ariak I don't know what the fuck that is. It's like a horn is that? stem. He's got teeth and horns, and they, they found uh, certain cats. Ooh, what is that? Is that? They don't know what that is yet. They <clears throat> found that. It's mummified. It's a tiny little mummified creature. Oh, that's one of them Alaskan uh, chupacabras. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have to they have to get that examined. Yeah, he has okay. so much shit. He has to. I mean, he's kind of an expert on it now, but he kind of has to bring people in to tell them, hey, what the fuck is this? Yeah, that's crazy. They just man. hose the side of this cliff. They just hose down the permafrost, and then bones start poking up. And then they go in further, and they've just been doing this for years now. It's insane. That's so cool. It's fucking cool. It, you never know what you're going to get. They yeah. find dinosaurs and stuff over there? They haven't found dinosaurs. It's all stuff from, like, uh, Look, is this a woolly mammoth a dinosaur? 60,000. No, woolly mammoth's an, an ancient elephant. Right. Yeah. It's a, so it's not. How long did they exist for? They did they hang out with dinosaurs? With no. Okay. So no. they were never hanging out with dinos. You no. never saw like a T Rex or a Spinosaurus and the uh, woolly mammoth hanging no. out. No. No. I'd like were, to go to that party mammals. though. I think the T Rex would have ate them all. Um, you know what I just found out? This is fucking crazy. Sharks are older than trees. Sharks have existed before trees existed. I get what. <laughs> Like 50 million years before trees, there were sharks. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it makes sense since... Yeah, look at that. Here it goes. So, uh, trees... Uh, it's so as... weird to just talk about trees as like, <laughs> did you hear sharks was older than trees? Like, they're two people. So, trees as we familiarly, familiarly know them, a primary trunk, large height, and a crown of leaves and fronds, didn't appear on the planet until the Devon how do you say that Devonian Devonian period some 360 million years ago you might be surprised to learn that sharks are older than trees they've been around for at least 400 million years that's crazy yeah it's fucking so bonkers. I mean does it make did life come life was from the water yeah most likely so I mean it kind of makes sense I yeah, guess but totally imagine just like what's what shark went up onto the land and became a tree you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think it worked that way. Well, I don't know how it worked. I don't. I wasn't there. But there's must have been like some like some kind of amoeba or life form mm -hmm. that slid up onto land and was like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna a, be a plant. I'm gonna be a tree. Yeah. And then another guy's like, you can fucking be a tree. I'm being this fucking massive aquatic creature that can yeah. just bite anything in half. 
what's bizarre is when you think of the variety, sure. just the sheer variety of life forms that exist on this planet, both plants and animals and mushrooms, which mm -hmm. breathe air. Mushrooms breathe air like we do. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they I don't do know. the photosynthesis thing. Well, now I feel bad. They don't. Well, they <laughs> don't. I just ate. <laughs> I think they want you to. <laughs> I have a theory. He does. I'm, they, they're he trying does. to get in there. Are they? Yeah, I think so. You should do an experiment and have a mushroom. You know how they do, like, uh, how trees go towards the light? They mm -hmm. end up growing more towards where there's the most light. Yeah. If, like, the shroom grows towards a human. Mm. Like, eat me. I don't think they grow towards humans, but one of the... Th Have you ever heard of the stone ape theory? No, sir. The, <laughs> the stone ape <laughs> theory is this, there's this guy who's this... Um, he was an ethnobotanist and uh, uh, like a psychedelic guru. His mm -hmm. name was Terence McKenna. And Terence McKenna had this theory, and it coincides with the... It, there's a lot of interesting things about it, but it's about the doubling of the human brain size. Apparently, the doubling of the human brain size is the biggest mystery in the entire <clears throat> fossil record. Because it, it happened fairly quickly. It happened over a period of like two million years. I missed that boat. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think you did, dude. I don't think you did. You're smart as fuck. Shut Thank the fuck you, up. Thank you, sir. But this, this time period was when lower... So what happened was that the rain, the climate changed and the rainforest receded into grasslands. And so a lot of these hominids came out of the trees and they started experimenting with different food sources. Oh, there's like a whole uh, video about it. So these these mushrooms grew on on cow shit. So they've observed all these different primates flipping over cow patties and eating beetles and grubs sure, on them. Sure, sure. And they would probably experiment with the mushrooms that grow on them. And his thought was that mushrooms in low doses increase visual acuity, so it makes sure. you a better hunter. It emphasizes a sense of community, so it would make you like the, have better tribal interactions. That would be benefit. It makes people horny. That would benefit breeding. And then there's also, like, his brother Dennis McKenna, he explained it to me, but I'm, I'll fuck it up if I try to re recall it. But it's essentially that some of the elements that and how psilocybin interacts with your mind, it helps the facilitation of language. And he thinks that all those things coincided with climate change. So as, as these rainforests receded, these lower hominids came out, tried mushrooms, started eating them, and kept eating them for millions of years. And that was a part of the diet. And as they did this, and as they understood what to get and what to eat, right. they, they looked for it, and they ate it on all the time. 